Hi everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's online content activity hub. For today's activity, we are going to be making propeller boats. They look something like this and they can go right into the bathtub or a big sensory bin. And if you wind up their propeller in the back, they'll actually start to move, super cool. So for this activity, you can find all the stuff around your house. We're gonna use some plastic containers. You can use like a, a plastic bin. Um, I've actually opted for like small milk containers. So it's a size like that. We're gonna need a couple yogurt cups, something similar to this for the top part of the boat. We'll need an elastic, some popsicle sticks, small piece of cardboard, which you can cut from the uh, yogurt container or you can get it from like a, a small box. We're gonna need a hot glue gun or super glue, some super, super strong glue that's gonna be okay in water. I opted for my hot glue gun there. Some duct tape or strong masking tape and we'll need some paint and paint brushes. So let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is take our box here, our, our cardboard box, and we are going to first tape on our popsicle sticks. So I have two popsicle sticks here and I'm gonna use some of my strong tape and also some of my hot glue to tape them to the back of our boat here. Um, so these popsicle sticks, we're just gonna pop on the side on the back part of our boat with our tape. This is what's going to hold our propeller. Got one there and let's do the other side. And you wanna make sure they're nice and lined up and the kiddos can help with this part as well, just making sure it's really, really reinforced. I'm just gonna put a couple more pieces of tape, but you can definitely go nuts with the tape on this side here, making sure it's nice and secure. This is just the demonstration here, so it doesn't need to be super secure. Perfect, so I've got my two popsicle sticks on the end there that eventually my propeller will go on to. The next thing we're gonna do is paint our boat. So this is the fun part here. Your children can paint over the duct tape that you just laid down. You wanna paint the whole entire boat, however you'd like. So I'm just painting the sides here first. Paint over the duct tape. And eventually you'll paint the whole boat. Let's get some on the top. Perfect, and make sure you get the back side here too. Awesome, we're gonna let that dry. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is glue um, the top of one of our yogurt containers. So you can use like the small individual serving yogurt containers. I found these really cute like snack cups that fit great on top of the yogurt container. And I'm gonna take my hot glue gun here and I'm gonna put lots and lots of glue all around the edges, just like that. And I'm gonna glue it to the top here, perfect. And what I did on my other boat was I um, took my hot glue gun, I went all around the edges thereafter just to really reinforce it so it doesn't come off. There we go, and then we'll wanna paint this part here too. You can even like add some windows or a logo Make it however you'd like. Just make sure it's all painted. You can use markers. Sometimes with the markers, they rub off a little bit, I notice, especially on this cardboard that's a little bit like covered in plastic. So paint might work a little bit better. Or you can even use stickers. Those are really great for younger kids. Or if you don't want to have a big mess, just have them use stickers to decorate everywhere. Cool. So something like that. And we're going to leave this to dry for a few hours, maybe even overnight, just in case. The next thing we're gonna do is take our small piece of cardboard here and we are going to make a propeller. So we're gonna do a snip here and here. And this is the width of my boat because it's gonna go in the back. I don't want it to be bigger than my popsicle sticks. So we're gonna make the two notches in the back, just like that, about halfway up the cardboard. Bend it a little bit so it can get some momentum. And you're going to take an elastic and put that on the outside of your popsicle sticks. That's why we wanna make sure it's like super, super strong in the back there because it's going to be pushing on the uh, popsicle sticks. And then we're just gonna weave our cardboard in there. And when you slowly wind it up, it'll eventually start to propel the boat. So let's take a look with our dried boat here in water. You can take these in the bathtub, you can take them in the sensory bin. They'll float right away because they're nice and light. So with this one here, and it's great because the, the cardboard's already a little bit plasticky, so it shouldn't 
um, start to break down with the cardboard in there. So this can be the little finicky part. We're just gonna take our propeller, twist the cardboard around it, and let's see if this works. It might take a few tries. Let's see though. Wind it up a lot. The more you wind it up, the farther it's gonna go. So if you wanna do the whole length of your bathtub, you might have to wind it up a lot. Let's see how, how we do. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we need some more water, but that is your boat there. And eventually, you might have to adjust around with the uh, cardboard part there, but eventually it will start to propel itself. So these are really great for sensor bins or for bath time there. Awesome. Hope you all enjoyed that sensory activity today with our propelled boat. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you soon. Bye.